Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Newberry Racecourse here on Saturday. It is May the 19th, 2018. I'm going to look at all those stakes races on today's program from Newberry, including the lock inch. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing. Get five more selections for race courses around the world. And if you're interested in the Preakness stakes, remember to go uh, look for my Preakness preview video here on YouTube. It's an excellent card of racing from Pimlico today also um but to, today's newberry races is it's the best card in the uk today uh, i'm going to look at all the listed stakes or the you know the stakes races on today's program from newberry so those races are races one two four and six so the 150 the 225 the feature the featured 340 and the 450 so let's get on to it starting off race number one the 150 from newberry it's the shala carnivron stakes it's a listed stakes for class one horses going for a purse of ninety four thousand five hundred dollars this race is for three-year-olds only field of nine horses going the 1200 meter trip or six furlongs on the turf course my top selection here i like the number two horse card sharp i'm gonna go two four five in the tricast of the trifecta two four five tricast trifecta top pick number two card sharp seven to one james doyle's on the smart johnston train three-year-old cult by lahanro Sources most recent outing came two weeks ago now at Newmarket in the uh, one mile two thousand guineas. You know this horse finished eleventh by thirteen lengths. He beat three horses home. You know just looking at his running style, style, he's a sprinter. He's not a router. He just really can keep up with them. It just wasn't his day to win against those Group One quality horses. I think with this massive step down in class here, sprinting again, I really think this horse should run a lot better. Before that, he were in the ninth of April uh, in France at Deauville. Uh, heavy, heavy ground. Fourteen. Meters, seven furlongs in the group three, uh, pre Jebel stakes. This horse finished ninth by 21 lengths. He beat three horses home again that day. And again, the ground was very wet, and I don't think this horse really likes wet grounds. Um, his better races have come on drier ground, but, you know, it just wasn't his day to win there. And then last October the 14th at Newmarket, seven furlongs in the Dewhurst. He finished fifth by six and a half lengths behind U.S. Navy flag. Again, he couldn't catch the U.S. Navy flag, but it was, a, it was an okay effort. It wasn't the worst, wasn't the best. And then before that, probably one of his best races of the his fall campaign came in the Middle Park Stakes at Newmarket, six furlongs, September the 30th. He finished third by three and a half lengths. He quickened up a little bit. It, it was a decent effort, but like I said earlier, with a step down class on drier ground, I think this horse run well. Seven to one is a great price, so watch out for him and go to the bank. So to recap my bets for the first race, the 150 from Newberry, it's the Shala Car Narvan Stakes. Uh, gonna go with the two horse Card Sharp. Gonna go two, four, five in the TriCast of the Trifecta. Basically, that's my top three. So now let's get on to race number two, the 225 from Newberry. It's 225. It's the Group 3 Al Rayon Stakes. It's registered as the Aston Park Stakes. Just keep that in mind. This race is a Group 3 race for Class 1 horse. He's going for a purse of $135,000. Race for 4 year olds and upwards. Field of 5 horses going the 2400 meter trip or 1 mile and 1 half on the turf course. My top selection here, I like the number 1 horse, Crystal Ocean. I'm going to go 143 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. 143 TriCast Trifecta. Top pick number 1, Crystal Ocean. Three to five. Ryan Moore's on the Sir Michael Stout train for your cult by the Sea of the Stars. I tried picking away from this horse, but every time I picked away from him, you know, the, the other horses aren't that good. I think he's the best horse by mile. Even with heavyweight, he's still the best horse. Um, you know, his most recent run came uh, a few weeks ago now. Three weeks ago at Sandown. A mile and a quarter in the Group 3 Gordon Richards stakes. He won by a nose. He was even money that day. I tried picking up against him that day and didn't help. Um, you know, he, this you know this horse just had quickened up nicely and had a very nice victory that day. It wasn't an easy victory, but he had a very nice victory. It was his first race since the St. Ledger at Doncaster. Mile 13, 16th last September. He finished second by a half length behind Capri. Uh, very nice Aino Brian horse, I believe. Uh, you know, this horse just missed at the end, but he ran a very good effort that day. And then uh, before that, on soft ground at, at, at uh, Goodwood in the uh, Gordon Stakes at a mile and a half. He won by three and a half lengths. He quickened up nicely and had a very nice victory. You know, he, he had, you know, his, his spring efforts last year. You know, he, he finished third in last year's Dante, and then he, uh, in the King Edward Stakes at Ascot last um, last June, uh, or early summer, or whatever, he, he finished third by one and three quarter lengths. Uh, he couldn't catch Permain, who this horse lost to two starts in a row, uh, one at Ascot and one at, in the Dante at York last uh, 
last year. Um, but, um, you know, he, he ran his heart in all of his races. I think here today he's really run well second off the break. Three to five, not the best price, but you're going to have to take it, so watch out. So to recap my bets for the second race, the 225 from Newberry, it's the Al Rayon Stakes. Going to go with the one horse Crystal Ocean. I'm going to go one, four, three in the TriCast, so the trifecta. So now we're going to head on to race number four, the 340 from Newberry. The 340, it's the feature race of the afternoon. It's the Group 1 Lockinge Stakes. It's a Group 1 race for Class 1 horses going for a purse of $472,500. That's in the American currency, so don't get confused. It's just easier for me to use the um, the American dollar instead of the British pound. Uh, this race is for four-year-olds and upwards. A field of 16 horses going the distance of ground of 1,600 meters or one mile on the turf course, the straight turf course. Uh, my top selection here, I'm going to use the filly here, the number 16 horse, Road to Rundon. Pardon me if I mispronounced the race. The, um, the horse is name wrong. I'm going to go 16-11-5 in the TriCast, the trifecta. 16-11-5, TriCast, trifecta. Top pick number 16, Road to Rendon. 3-1 Three, uh, here, 4 year filled by Galileo. Ryan Moore's on this one for Aiden O'Brien. You know, this horse is making um, her second start of the year. Her first start of the year came the 29th of April, Longchamp. Good ground, a mile and a quarter in the, pre, in the Group 1 Pre-Gene. This horse finished fourth by five and a half lengths that day behind Cracksman. And nobody was catching Cracksman that day. This horse just really couldn't get that good closing kick. Probably needed the race. I think second off the break on firmer ground, I really think this horse went a little bit better. Before that, the 4th of November at Del Mar, a mile and eighth, 1,800 meters in the, in the Grade 1 Breers Cup Philly Mayor Turf. This horse finished second by a length. The horse had a little bit of a traffic trouble, which I think cost this horse the win, but he, she did run her hard out at the end. The The turf course at Del Mar is a very tight turf course, and there's always, you always, always see horses have terrible trips. This horse had a terrible trip. I think that cost her the victory, but, uh, you know, she, she did run well after yeah, finding clear room in the uh, when the uh, the rail went away at the eighth pole, but um, you know a little off subject now. Um, hopefully, if they uh, take this horse back to America this year uh, for the British Cup Philly Mare Turf, uh, I, I think uh, I would I would back her right now for that because this year it's going to be back at the distance of ground of my own three eighths, just under a mile and a half, um, and I really think this horse would love that distance. Last year they ran the British Cup Philly Mare Turf at a mile and eighth, and uh, with two furlongs left. You know, it just wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't the, the best uh, British Cup Philly Mayor turf because, you know, it, it just wasn't, it, you know, you needed the extra ground for the gooder horses to win. But, um, you know, hopefully at the uh, end of the year, they uh, go to Churchill with this one. But back to this race now, um, you know, the, the, throughout that, so, well, you don't have to throw out that race. Before that, she ran a Shunti in the uh, pre day after. Uh, she won by head that day, upsetting at 7-1, seven, seven beating Hydrangea. You know, this horse had a great turn of foot that day and won nicely. And then before that, in Ireland in the matron stakes, a disaster race. She finished 7th by 4.5 lengths. Really never got going. Weakened out of it, just wasn't her day to win. But um, her last three were very good. Her last four, shall I say, were very good. Um, you know, I like her a lot here today. I think she can beat. The, she can beat the boys at, at three to one. I'll take my chances. So to recap my bets for today's fourth race, the 340 from Newberry Speech Race, it's the Group 1 lock inch Stakes. Going to go with the number 16 horse, uh, Rhoda Rundong. I'm going to go 16-11-5 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number 6, the 450 from Newberry. The 450, it is the Haras de Boca. Bogotat, Philly's trial stakes. Um, it's solicited stakes for class one horses going for a purse of ninety four thousand five hundred dollars. This race is for three year old Phillies only field of seven horses going the the uh, two thousand meter trip or a mile a quarter on the lawn, the turf course. My top selection here, I like the number two horse, Arcadian Cat. I'm gonna go two four seven in the TriCast of the Trifecta. Two four seven TriCast Trifecta. Top pick number two, Arcadian Cat. Ten to one. Harry Bentley's on this round. Beckett trained through Philly by Kittens Joy. Horses most recent outing came on the 20th of April. That came here at Newberry. A mile and a quarter in a Philly's maiden, um, maiden's Philly handicap class four event. She finished second by six lengths. She had a bit of a wide poster, which I think cost her the victory, but she ran quite well other than that. Just missed a very respectable comeback race. And then her other start came here at Newberry. 20th of October, a mile class four Philly's novice. Horse finished third by two, uh, third by, uh, 
three and a half lengths that day. She quickened up a little bit, but, but it wasn't enough to win. But like I said, she, she has a better post draw today than she had last time out. Um, and I think second off the layoff, she should really like the drier ground finally. And I, I think she'll run a big one, 10 to 1. I love her, and I'm going to the bank on this one, so watch out. So to recap my bets for the 450, the sixth race from Newberry, it's Taharas de Bogotat, Phillies Trial 6. Going to go with the two horse, Arcadian Cat. Going to go 247 in the tri cast of the trifecta. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.